Okay, so there's been one thing that's been brought to my attention one too many times but by thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And, you know, I feel like I should do a video of it. So, dude, do you think the regular splatter shot is better than the tender tech? So, dude, do you think the M. Perry splat dualies are better than the regular splat dualies? What should I pick? What should I just use all the time? Hello guys and welcome, it is that SRB2 dude here today bringing you yet another Splatoon 2 video talking about the topic of which variant is better than the other variant. And I have to say this now because I've been asked questions like this way too many times, way too many times, and this is how I'm going to debunk it. If anybody was to ask me this again in just a general opinion, I'm about to tell you now that there is no better option in each variant. Now, looking at Splatoon, it is a team-based shooter. So with each variant, they have a certain amount of utility and they can use this to utilize different types of strategies, which means it really doesn't matter what you pick as long as it works within the comp and the strategies, you can do some amazing things. In terms of a solo player that plays solo queue all the time or just turf for, some variants are better than the other on different maps. For an example, you have the regular blaster and the custom blaster. The custom blaster is amazing on Inkblot Art Academy in pretty much any mode, I must say, considering that you can just throw so many auto bombs onto your enemy's platform. And basically any opponent that is on this platform is going to be detected by the auto bomb. They're going to be always forced to move around and all that type of stuff. And another thing that complements this well is that it also has an inkjet. So if you want to get slightly more aggressive, you can just inkjet yourself up there onto the platform, maybe get a multi kill or something. With the regular blaster, its utility is a little bit different. You can throw a couple of Toxic Mists onto their platform, but the thing is, if you look at the bigger picture, that is all you're doing. There's nothing actually there to clean up the slowed down player. Unless you're doing a little bit of teamwork where you have somebody already rushing to the platform that can actually take out the people that are in the Toxic Mist, then for sure it's valuable and there's a strategy behind it. However, with a single weapon, the Custom Blaster can do all of this by itself without the need of teammates. The regular blaster only has toxic mist and doesn't have a useful special to take on the enemies that are on the platform. This weapon may work better by itself on other maps, but not this one. Now, some people are going to bring up this question. Why do some people in some teams always use the same variant of a weapon in competitive gameplay? And the thing is, it's just because that's the team's composition. That's the composition that works for them. Now, there are also other things such as meta. Like you could probably say, yes, the Tentatech splatter shot is definitely meta, mainly because of its utility that it has. You have a splat bomb, you have an inkjet. Now you just have to find three other weapons that complement this well. Some competitive teams usually look at others that are also doing well, which means they tend to use the same strategies or sometimes build their own strategies upon one strategy. I said strategy about three times there, but hopefully you get the point. That is just how competitive games roll. You have one strategy and you have one really good strategy that a lot of teams see and they try to take that and build on it. And there's always that one team that uses another strategy that counters the other strategy. And then as you see, that strategy becomes meta and it keeps going on from there. And that is just how the meta works. And that's why you see certain teams and players use these certain types of weapons. So to answer you guys' this question again, what weapon is better than the other? The answer is, there is no better weapon. The things that you want to focus on is how the utility on the weapon can be utilized effectively on each map and mode. Honestly, that is all I have to say. So if you guys actually learned something from this, please stop asking me what weapon is better than the other. I will, I will direct you to this video. I'm slamming on my table right now. Stop asking me. Sorry. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both of you feeling generous. And as always, guys, this has been that SLB2 dude. Stop asking me! <laughs> Sorry. And I shall see you guys in a future video.